That would be great. I think that would be. Oh, be fantastic. But that's not what I was seeing. If you listen to the show on iHeartRadio, or if you listen to iHeartRadio from out of state at all, uh, tell me where you do it, and I'll make sure that uh, you are on our map of Bureau Chiefs. Uh, Jordan is our Bureau Chief in Park City, Utah. Steve listens in Hartford, Connecticut. Uh, Augustine is one of our Bureau Chiefs in Denver. Matt's in Cincinnati. We have a lot of people in Florida. I've been thinking about our Bureau Chiefs in Florida. I'm going to be in Cincinnati again tomorrow. What? With Jim Twos. We're, we're like, you know what? We don't care if there's a Bengals game tonight. People want to hear jokes from two white guys in their 40s. Right. So that's what they're going to get. Where's the gig? Uh, go Bananas. In All there. right. Uh, doing some stuff in Asheville, North Carolina, Friday and Saturday. What a great town. I've never been there. I'm very excited. My wife has family there. So when we when we go down, like anytime we go to Florida for spring break or something, we'll s- spend the night in Asheville. Great town. I'm excited. Uh, and yeah, Jim's birthday was on Monday, so we're having a little birthday boys weekend. Oh, <laughs> spelling boys with a Z? B-O-I-Z. <laughs> The boys. boys. Uh, Birthday boys. Well, that'll be fun. It will, it will be great. Yeah. And we get to do comedy and make a little money while we're doing it, too. It'll probably be a wash, but, you know, it's still fun to hang out it's with It's still Jim. an experience, yeah, right? You, yeah. You're still having fun, mm-hmm. going out, doing what you love to do. That's you right. You would do, I've heard Bill say this a million times, I would do it for free. <laughs> that's yeah. how that much That's how much I love it. Mary has said the same thing. Oh. Yeah. She goes, I would go to North Dakota for free. Just to see That's the... how much I love performing stand-up comedy. Beautiful landscape. North <laughs> Dakota. <laughs> yeah, well. I did hear from Brandon. He is our bureau chief in Ridgeland, South Carolina. He calls himself our low country gay ambassador. Right. That area of the country is called the low country. And 40 minutes east of him is the town of Beaufort, South Carolina. It's on Port Royal Island. It's right there off the ocean. And they've got, uh, you know, antebellum mansions and all manner of southern history. But you know what else they have that might be of particular interest to a member of this show? Hmm. Beaufort, South Carolina is the kazoo capital of the United States. And since our own Bill Squire is a kazooist in training. Kazooshin. Kazushin. A Kazushin, a Kazooist. Um, uh, I've done some research. We're actually called Kazoodlers. Kazoodlers. He's, <laughs> he's uh, on his way to become a professional Kazoodler. <laughs> yep. Not bad, Nailed it. Honestly. <laughs> yeah. So. Uh, Any requests? <laughs> yeah. Can you do Highway to Hell by ACDC? Mm-hmm. He's just humming. <laughs> That's how you play the kazoo. <laughs> I don't hear any humming here. <laughs> All right. Nailed it. Yeah, nailed it. Um, uh, I would like you to play the thong song by Cisco. It's so easy. <laughs> How can I request? Um, can you do some Celine Dion, Eni? Yeah, how about My Heart Will Go On by <laughs> Celine Dion? Yeah, do it. <laughs> Perfect for the kazoo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go right to the chorus. <laughs> <laughs> That's good enough. Oh, that was pretty good. I am pretty much a professional now. Yeah, he's a <laughs> he's a hire me for some kazoo gigs. No longer a kazoo. Ain't doing that for free. No longer a kazoodler in training. Anyway, Beaufort, South Carolina Beaufort, is the home of Kazooby Kazoos. Yes. Uh this is the mayor of the town is the CEO of the kazoo factory. I wonder if that played into of interest. I wonder if that played into him getting elected. Ladies and gentlemen, I put kazoos on the map. There are only two kazoo factories in the entire United States, and one of them is right there in Beaufort, South Carolina. They make one million 
custom kazoos per year. And they also give factory and museum tours. The Kazoo Museum. Uh, they opened as a website about 25 years ago and uh, built it into what it is today. The photo that I saw of the Kazoo Museum had a lot of empty chairs. But maybe it's in off hours. I don't know what peak kazoo tour season is in South Carolina. If you're down there on Port Royal Island, there are so many other things to do. March 19th to April 3rd. That's peak kazoo season. Peak kazoo <laughs> season. March 19th to April 3rd. Because mm -hmm. you have to include April Fool's Day. Obviously. And then a couple of extra days. April Fool's Day, huge kazoo. It might be the kazoo. Beautiful. Holiday. Yep. What you want to do is you want to include something. You want a window that includes the vernal equinox. St. Patrick's Day. Right. Of course, for those in the know, vernal equinox was the inventor of the kazoo. I thought that was the guy in uh, Living Color. That was David Allen Greer. No, not in Living Color. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're thinking of Vernon Reed. No. I'm or Corey of Glover. Vernon Equinox. <laughs> Vernon Equinox. <laughs> Vernon Equinox. So uh, the mayor of Beaufort, South Carolina, uh, runs this museum. And so I just wanted to bring it to your attention that it's down there. It's available for you to visit. Um, it's a probably a beautiful part of the country. Well, you said you're going to be in Asheville. Right. Yeah. That's North Carolina, I realize, but it is a short Four and a half hour drive through Columbia. Oh, was that all? Straight down to Beaufort, right on the ocean. You told me to drive 11 hours from my college gig in North Dakota to Mount Rushmore. Yeah, but you <laughs> should have. That's a national treasure, that. Mary, it's as is the hours. Kazoo Museum. You could get, come on. Go to the, go to the museum. I can't. Kazooseum. You can. It's because it's Jim's. He can't, he, he won't. Right. Listen, in and, and Asheville, gonna. in Asheville, you would be closer to Atlanta than the Kazoo Museum, but I bet you won't drive three and a half hours to party in hot Atlanta. Oh, I wouldn't. Will you? Ew, I don't want to party at all. <laughs> you don't want to party in no, hot Atlanta? Not at all. Oh, come on. Are you are you saying that your partying days are behind you? They've been behind me. They have? Haven't they? I mean, I still like to party. Depends on how you oh, party. No. Just redefine partying. Going to a club and having some drinks and meeting some girls and having fun. He's a single guy. Well, I have a girlfriend. Don't get ah, whatever. That's all that's administrative details. <laughs> and I hate clubs. All right. Well, I've always been anti club. See, I love Even club. I'm clubs are the best. I do too. A lot Last of fun. Night at the now, I, I am, I feel 1,000 years old. Well, you are. But I love them. I like the vibe. I like the energy. I like the percussive nature of it. No, Get very, you in the chest. I'm very excited to uh, hang out in Asheville, probably go to some breweries or whatever they have in that, in that town. And then uh, Jim and I will do the shows that we do. And afterwards, we will go back to our hotel, have a couple of drinks in our room, just hang out and chat, and then... Go to bed what? early. Honestly. Yeah. You could do yeah. that here. via text. You could do that here. FaceTime. <laughs> but we get to be in person. But we also get to do comedy but, and go out during the day, too. But, but you're in a town that's got, like, a ton of fun stuff. and. Last night. Well, we'll probably do some fun stuff. But we're mm. probably going to do it more during the day, not so much at night. Last mm. night at the Post Malone concert, I was, was like, man. I wish there was a club for 30 and 40-year-olds. Like target demographic, where they played two thousands rap and club songs, and we could wear our little two V dresses, our little wet seal dresses, but it was only open from like seven to nine thirty. So that way, like I can get off work, I can go slutty dance for a little while, and still be home at a reasonable hour. I would love that. I would go there all the time. I understand. Every weekend. When I lived in Pittsburgh, there was a place, and obviously I've been gone there for many years, but there was a place that had opened up about a year before I left in a part of town that I think has since been heavily gentrified over there in um, East Liberty. But there was a bar there called The Red Door, and it was clearly trying to cater to, like, early 30s, maybe upscale-ish, right? And it was like a deep house bar, and I love that vibe, where it's not... Like, if you want to go to a club club where it's all, like, bangers and yeah, everybody's yeah, getting yeah. bottle service, that's fine, too. Sure. 
But I don't know if a place around here that's like a deep house chill club. What does that even mean? Deep well, house? like like it's more the the music is more kind of ambient. There's kind of just a a, a chiller vibe to it. But people are still having a good time. Mm-hmm. It's less of a dance club and just more of like a kick in it club. It probably would make zero dollars. Yeah. But those places used to exist, and I loved them. See, I want like a dance club. Bangers, wild. Well, we got tons of those around no, here. No, no, no. Not for 36-year-olds who want to dance to Lil John. Well, get, well get you got to walk with, into what we got. I mean, that's you what know. I want. Get, but yeah. get, get with members only, Dave. That closes at 10 p.m. <laughs> well, no yeah. one's allowed in after 10 o'clock. Go yeah. home. You have a job. Here's yeah. what you do. You get with members only, Dave. He works the club scene. And you say, because nobody shows up at the club Until early. midnight. We so need you just a millennials set, night. Yeah, so set up. A dance party from seven to nine, or like eight to like 10. emo night. Yeah, but basically it's just yeah, for young or for old people. Yes, I want to hear. Make it happen. Usher, OMG, mm-hmm. that's what I want. But they hear. do have. There are clubs that have those throwback nights. Right, but they still don't start till late. Yeah, you, I still she have to get there to at eleven thirty, and I'm going to be the only person on the dance floor. I see what you mean. I want there to be other. You want there to be a there you there, a club <laughs> yes. that plays that music yes. and opens like at dinner time. I, that's mm-hmm. it. Eight to ten. Our window is eight to ten. Seven to nine thirty. Seven to nine thirty. Yeah. Somewhere in there. You so just got to set way, a trend. You can have. Can you be a trendsetter? Sure. You can have a nice, sensible dinner. Sensible. You can, yeah. You can go out <laughs> dancing. Maybe have a cocktail or two, and then go home and take a shower and a nap and do your skincare routine. Yep. Be back by 1030 or 11. That's what 11. I mean. Be home by 11. Skincare routine done by 1130. In bed before midnight. God, I would love that. That'd be really? perfect. That'd be perfect. Huh. I don't need to be up till 2 in the morning anymore. No, I understand, and I'm not even saying that. I'm just saying that when, I know when I go out, if I'm out, out, I want to be out. Like, I don't, if I'm going out, it's kind of a production. Sure. So it's like I don't necessarily want to go home at midnight. If I'm going to go out, I want to go out. Right. You want to go out for a couple hours. Mm-hmm. Get my dances go out. Go home and, and put your tootsies under the covers. And Yes. I see. Still have time to take a shower and take my makeup off and get comfortable at a reasonable hour. So I'm not crawling into bed at 4 o'clock in the morning. Huh. I had those days. I don't need those days anymore. Yeah, I guess you... You fit a lot of those days into a short period of time, didn't you? A decade. Yeah, you compressed. I, my 20s were insane. Right. I don't ever need to relive them. You're coming at it from a different... See, I'm coming at it from the perspective of somebody who didn't drink till he was 26. Yeah. And You're not what, making up for lost time, but... But it's still fun to me. Right. I had my yeah. fun. I'd yeah. like to go have more sensible fun in... Maybe some two or three inch heels. Sensible fun. There you go. That's it's what this. we'll call it. We'll call it fun. sensible fun night. Wear Basically, your orthopedics, you everyone. Go to church dances. I don't want to go, go to a church dance. That's I still, like I said, I still want to dance and look slutty and get all done up, but only for a little while. Wear your sketchers. Get your shape ups. There you go. <laughs> Coming out to dance. Yeah, I would just get with the club to try and organize that. You've got enough of a following that you could probably get other. Women of your genre to come out. Genre. <laughs> <laughs> Do you miss your twenties, but you're happy with your stability in your thirties? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you don't want to. Just sensible genre. fun. This you don't want to be sitting on the curb genre. anymore and vomiting right. into a street drain, crying into a dead phone. I don't need all that. Alan, the club Mary be- is describing is called Target. <laughs> <laughs> be uh, start a DJ career, little side hustle, DJ sensible fun. Yes. DJ Sensi Fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hmm. You you make the playlist, and it doesn't need all that wah, 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 mid- no. rigmarole because that wasn't going on back then. Mm-mm. You just, just, play, you, the you just song. play them through and Give me Cyclone by Baby Bash. Yeah. That's what I want Ooh. in my life, right? That's a good one. Uh, Move her body like a cyclone, that oh, one. Yeah. Hmm. yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Hey. You move my body like a cyclone. What about a geriatric disco out in the flats? What about that? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Is Maybe. That no, that's no. not it. What about bingo night, but with music? Mm, no. Can't I don't hear him so. calling the letters. Right. Hmm. I need something where. Uh, what's the one where. Swing by Savage. What's plays. the. Um, 
Oh, God, what's the silent disco? What do they call it where everybody wears headphones? Silent yeah, disco. Is it called silent yeah. disco? <laughs> I think that's so. <laughs> no, I, th- I thought they called it something cooler than that. No, that's it's silent disco. Um, But, like, they do it at B-Spot, right? B-Side, whatever that place know. is. I've Underneath yeah. uh, uh, Grog Shop. Yeah, they do it at the hamburger place. <laughs> yeah, B-Spot. <laughs> hamburger place. That's not even around anymore. Like, um, But anyway, but, but there are places that do that. And I was like, I get what you're trying to do, right. but. Do you get to pick your own playlist? It's something like that. Like, you, I, I don't know. I, I haven't done it, but I, I'm like, eh, you take your headphones off. It's a bunch of people moving around in a quiet That's room, funny. I guess. It's like oh, taking it's... your 3D glasses off in the movie, and you're like, oh, okay, well. And... No money to be made on a couple drinks. Mary's idea would never work. It's yeah, only again, for two pay, hours. This isn't a pay. practical application no, and here. my point it's... is you can still have the club open after that. It's just from 8 to 10. This right. is our target demographic. You're a still going to sell plenty of shots. A lot of clubs do that anyway. They're like, hey, get the hell out of here by 9 o'clock because the kids are coming in at 1130. Right. So, yeah. I have no interest being there at 1130. Right, the drunk college kids. I wore really, like, expensive, knee-high suede boots and this sexy little sweater dress. The last time I went out, it was before COVID. My sister and I went to Barley House. And so this is even two years ago. So I was 30, just turned 30. And I walked in, and I'm like, A, my outfit doesn't match any of the outfits here. And two, I'm by far the oldest person here, by at least five years, at age 30. I yeah, was but like, you can't worry about here. that. You got to have fun. Right, but they weren't playing, playing music that I knew. Oh, that well, that, like, then everything was you know? stacked against you. Yeah. Uh, call That's it, how I feel all the time. Call it club Every sandwich. Club. <laughs> club sandwich. You, you get like a, really a, you get a sensible yeah. meal, yeah. Oh, and then you go club. have a little bit of a dance. It's like a wedding reception. Yeah, it's like a club there? that's a wedding reception every night. No. It's just people's ants dancing. Yeah, honestly. All right. Give me your cool aunt with a vape pen. She's welcome. Huh. She'll probably tear it up. Call it Ant Farm. Yeah. Ooh, A-U-N-T. <laughs> All right. I think it would be a hit. If it would be a hit, it'd be a thing. Nobody's been a pioneer yet because we're all too tired. Hmm. Well, something to think about. Could have snacks. This town is a full snack bar. of entrepreneurial spirit. I'd pay a $20 cover for two drinks and a snack bar. Two drinks and a snack. There are clubs that have done that before. I would do that. Here's your little, uh, what are those weenies wrapped in croissants called? Yep. Uh, pigs, pigs in a blanket. In a blanket. <laughs> here's, yeah. here's your little mini hot dogs. We have crudite. Have a, yeah. We've got canapes. We've got uh, bite sized cheesecakes. Pickled eggs. Oh, yes. And we've got bacon wrapped dates. Perfect. Wow. And benches so you don't have to dance the whole time. No, yeah, you can sit down. <laughs> Complimentary flip flops. Yeah. <laughs> if you'd like this to is, This is all coming together. I'm telling you. Gotta get some. Uh, get I a, might, honestly, now that I'm saying all these things, I might just be planning a wedding reception. Yeah. <laughs> let's just let's get a prospectus out there and see if there are any uh, local uh, uh, VCs who want to invest. I got a break here. If you want to text 35192 to do that, you can watch at allencockshow.com. And theoretically, you can listen on the iHeartRadio app. The Alan Cox Show. On 100.7 WMMS. Rover's Morning Glory. So you think you might have some info on a mysterious unsolved death in the area? This guy had a lot of skeletons in it.